Yeah, shalom, shalom. This is just a quick impromptu video. This is Brother Emma Wong coming to you with a quick impromptu. Um, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, and glory to you. Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Dash. Double honors as always goes to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, man. You know, the, the true um, leaders of Israel. Peace and blessings to all you brothers out, you sincere brothers out there, man. Much love to you. Um, you know, pushing this word out in truth and sincerity, and blessings to the um, to the remnant of Israel, man. That's for salvation. That that um, that great multitude. And this is I'm going to bring up a couple of script, scriptures, man, because like the Lord is just doing things right now, man. I don't know where you are in the world right now, but where I am right now, the Lord is the, the, the thunders and them lightnings are occurring in such a way that the Lord is this this is this the Lord is speaking, man. Right? This is the Lord's work, man. This is the Lord's doing. Alright. He's in control of all of that. Alright. This ain't all that climate change bullshit that these 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 Edomites are talking about, trying to press their little um agenda, man. No, there's no such thing, man. That that climate change is up down to you how about Shemi or Shah, man. And right now, he's expressing himself, man. You know, he's expressing himself. And it's amazing to see, man. I mean, the, the people on this earth don't understand who's doing this works, man. But it's Yahweh Barsham Yahweh Shai, man. Alright? So I'm just going to read a couple of scriptures. This is a real quick one, alright? So I'm going to do um, 2 Ezra uh, 16. It says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry for your destruction that is at hand. And, you know, the Lord is showing his destructive power right now. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but, you know, there's bare thunder and lightning going on right now. And it's beautiful, man. Right? Because we know who, who to attribute these things to, man. It's Yahweh Bar Shemi Shai, man. Verse 3 says, A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? So basically it's saying that no matter what you think you can do, what power you think you can have, man, you don't trump the power of the Lord, man. All right? It's all powerful, man. May any man drive away a hungry, li a hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire in stubble when it have begun to burn. May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? Because these are just uh, one of the many plagues, or two of the many, you know, the thunder and the lion, two of the many plagues that the Lord can send upon the earth, man. Right? And no one can stop them. It's unstoppable, man. A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? No one. He says, he shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? Right, and even though you know I'm, I'm I'm exalting the Most High for what He's doing right now, I'm still fearful, man. The Lord is completely showing how much power, you know, the ultimate power that He is right now, man. Just because I'm I'm reading the scriptures and I'm, you know, I'm praising the Lord for the power, man, doesn't mean I don't fear what I'm seeing out there, man. Right? Not because we have to understand it of who's in control of that. Before, you know, when we was in the world and that we attributed the, these things to. You know, nature. But Yahweh Basham Yahusha is nature, man. So it says, um, He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear, he shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid. The Lord shall threaten. And that's a, these are threats right now, man. And if only the the the, the um, population of the earth understood. And, and you know realize that that power still exists they know this man it says he shall cast lightnings and who shall not fear he shall thunder and who shall not be afraid the lord shall threaten this is these are threats like i just said and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence man all right this is this is just a taste man this is just a taste of the lord's power man all right we're going to see more and more of this as as we get closer to the end, man. All right. I'm just gonna get one more. Um, you can hear that rain, you know, popping off right now, man. I'm just gonna get one more 
uh, scripture law when I can find it. Right, I'll start from the top here. Psalms 135, it says, Praise ye the Lord, praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise him, O servants of the Lord, man. So that's what we do constantly, man. All right, we praise ye the name. You can't praise the Lord unless you know his name, all right, which is Yahweh and uh, Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, right? It says, Ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our power, praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. For the Lord have chosen Jacob unto himself and Israel for his peculiar treasure. So he's once again showing you that he's only dealing with the children of Israel, man. His chosen people, man. Alright? For I know that the Lord is great and that our Lord is above all powers. Right? Whatsoever the Lord pleased that he that that did he in heaven and in earth, in the seas and all deep places. He causeth the vapours to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightnings for the rain. He bringeth the wind out of his treasuries. Right? So there you go, man. He's in control of this, man. Right? Understand that. When you hear the, 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 the thunder and you see the lightning, man, remember in your just remember in your thoughts, man, who's doing this, man. It ain't, it ain't Mother Nature. It ain't the climate, man. It's Yahweh Hashem Yahushua that's doing this, man. All right, the world's gonna remember that. The world's gonna see and understand sooner or later that the Lord exists, you know, as His name states, right, and that He's in control of these things, man. And right now, He's showing His power, man, and it's beautiful, man. And it's also, it's also frightening. All right. So with that, man, just a quick one, you know, through the Spirit. I just want to bring that one out. I'll give it all praises, honor, and glory. See how Bashem was shy, Bahashem Kaha Kutash. Double honors as always here, our apostles, elders, and bishops of great mercy who will well peace and blessings to all the brothers out there, the true, sincere brothers, man, that love one another, that are pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Right? And the and the and the and the, the great multitude destined for salvation, man. Sh uh, shalom unto all of you, man. Right? With that I'll say shalom, man.